Shabbat Shalom. Shalalalala, Shabbat Shalom. Shalalalala, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shalalalala, Shabbat Shalom. Shalalalala, Shabbat Shalom. Shalalalala, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Hello and welcome. Here we are just before Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. We're so glad to be with you on our Shalalala Shabbat series. We are going to begin as we usually do with Shalom Aleichem. This evening's Shalom Aleichem is written by the incredible composer, the great Chazan, Meir Finkelstein. And I think some of you might be familiar with this one. Uh, of course, the words are there for you to sing along. So please feel free to sing along, but we know you're going to enjoy it. Here we are with Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. Thank you so much, Cantor Meir Finkelstein. He is, by the way, the new Chazan at my sister and my mother's shul down in Palm Beach, Florida. They are so lucky to have him because he is just awesome. My mother-in-law, yes. Uh, Ima, you are a lucky lady. He's a great cousin. He is a great, great cousin. So, we're ready to celebrate some birthdays, are we not? Absolutely. Can't oh, wait. Well, happy birthday to the people who have birthdays this week. Alan Troster, Jennifer Nadler, Shai Panzer, Rebecca Reutman, Stuart Poslins, Sebastian Salyam, Michael Kersner, David Ackerman, Aaron Poslins and Sharon Goldman. And a very happy anniversary to Michelle Masters and Arik Allo. I remember their wedding. They had one of the very first COVID weddings that Cantor Simon officiated in the backyard. It was so lovely, so intimate. And now they have a baby. Yeah, they have a baby. Congratulations. Mazel Tov. If you know any of the people whose names we just mentioned, make sure you give them a call this week. Wish them a happy birthday. Wish them a Mazel Tov. Uh, we like to celebrate. So all the best wishes from the song shul. 
And now we are ready for our Lachadodi. The melody we've chosen, chosen for Lachadodi this evening is to the tune of Artsa Alinu by Shmuel Navon. The reason we've selected that particular melody is that we are in the three weeks right now leading up to uh, Tisha B'Av, the saddest day of the Jewish calendar, the day commemorating the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. So we wanted something that symbolizes the return to Jerusalem, the return to Israel, the rebuilding of Israel. And Artsa Alinu was a song sung by the pioneers in the early days of the state of Israel. So uh, we hope you understand that connection. We hope it, the melody is not only uplifting, but a little bit more meaningful than just any any melody. So here is Lachadodi to the tune of Artsa Alinu. Lachadodi likrakala brik Shabbat nekabla. Lachadodi likrakala brik Shabbat nekabla. Shamor v'zachor b'diburechad. Hishmiyanu elam yuchad Adonai yakarush mohu echad L'shem ruti ifed evaliti elad Lecha dodi lekrat kala Brit Shabbat nekabla Lecha dodi lekrat kala Brit Shabbat nekabla Lekrat Shabbat lekuv nelcha Tov Moshe et Mozayehem le Maasehem al pi Hashem ve ele Maasehem le Mozayehem. This week's Torah portion, chapter 33, verse 2. And Moses wrote their departure according to their journeys, and these were their journeys according to their departures. <laughs> so it's written in two different ways. Moses logged the departures according to their journeys, and Moses logged their journeys according to their departures. Now, the Israelites, well, they traveled for 40 years, and there were 42 segments in their travels. That was a lot of packing and unpacking and packing, and you know all about that. But what the Torah is saying here is, why is there two ways of saying, and these were the departures logging the journeys, and these were the journeys logging the departures. The Torah says there are two types. There were two types of Jews. We have two types. One is the person who looks always at the journey, and the others look at the paradigm of 
the departure. First, let's look at the journey. Jews in the 18th century and the 19th century, they were looking for enlightenment and moving forward and becoming assimilated. And we see that, sadly and tragically, that the Jews who looked to become assimilated, well, they had tragic endings. What with the social unrest and the fascism that happened in Europe, and of course in uh, socialist Russia as well, well, the Jews were doomed from the beginning. And of course, when they came to the new country, embracing all those ideals by being assimilated, the next generation lost all connection to Judaism. And we lost those people forever. And then we have the other side. We have those Jewish people who look at the departure and they look about backwards, backwards, backwards. Oh, we shouldn't look at anything else. It was so good in the old country. Let's keep our head and our face in the sand. Let's not look up and take on anything. And the Torah is teaching us something very, very special. That you've got to look. You've got to look around you while keeping the authenticity of your faith. We have Yiddishkeit. We have Judaism. And it came from the wilderness. No matter what happened with the children of Israel, where they traveled in the desert, they brought that Judaism with them. And finally, when they had faith, they were allowed in to the promised land. Today, Friday, is the first day of the month of Av, Rosh Chodesh Av. And historically, we know in the Bible that this was the anniversary of the death of Aaron, Aaron the high priest. He was a, a Rodev Shalom, an Ohev Shalom. He looked and searched and pursued peace. And of course, God blesses us when we are at peace with each other. We say in the bracha, Hamavarech et Amo Yisrael Bashalom. God blesses his people Israel with peace. When that day comes and we have our temple back in Jerusalem, we will be at peace. We will have Shlemut, Shalem, and we will have Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. This week we commemorate the yard sites of the following people. Harold Zweig, father of Howard Zweig, Helen Roth, mother of Sherry Hertz, Elizabeth Herskovitz, mother of Kathy Hollinger, Flora Pollard, mother of Gabrielle and Tamara Pollard, and Hetty Goldstein Lubin, mother of Pamela Kenley. Hetty's parents were Romanian, and she spent a good part of her childhood in a Jewish orphanage in Stepney Green, the East End of London, along with five siblings. When her daughter Pamela left England to move to Montreal, Hetty insisted on moving there as well. And thank you, Pamela Kenley, for submitting that lovely photograph of your late mother and some information about her as well. As you all know, I sent an invitation to all of our members asking you to please send us photos. Send us photos and some information about your loved ones so that we can share with all of, all of you as we commemorate their yard sites. At this time, please join me in a special Kaddish. Al Hakol Yit gadal v'yish tabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit nase Shmo shel melech malchei hamlachim hakadosh baruch hu ba'olamot shebara ha'olam hazeh v'ha'olam haba Chirtzono v'chirtzon kol amo Yisrael Tzur ha'olamim adon kol habriot Eloah כל הנפשות, היושב במרחבי מרום, השוכן בשמי שמי קדם, קדושתו על כיסא הכבוד, וקדושתו על החיות. ובכן יתקדש שמו בנו לעיני כל חי. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום. עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו, אמן. 
Well, we are getting closer to Shabbat, and at this time, we have a beautiful, beautiful music for lighting the candles. This was written by Cantor Simon. I am certainly ready for lighting my candles now. Oh, that was just lovely. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much for doing that. Mm. And thank you for joining us for our Shalalala Shabbat program. It's so nice to know that you're with us, and we can't wait to be in person together. That will be in the fall, starting in September. And if you haven't yet renewed your membership, do it now, because we have a fantastic year ahead. Gorgeous Shabbat services, incredible Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur services, very easy to renew. Songshul.com slash renew. Wow. So we have a date next Friday, 7 p.m. But for now, we just want to wish you Chodesh Tov and Shabbat Shalom. Here we go. Come on and sing with us. Let's go,